Hey, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. So today we are just uh, getting on a straight edge on each side of these, uh, uh, on one side of the top. And then we can cut it to uh, the appropriate width of 18 inches. So I'm using a kind of a modified bed rail technique to get a straight edge. And rather than using a bed rail, I do have a piece of um, steel here that was used for a little hanging rack. So it's got a, a really good straight edge and it's a little bit narrower here. So what I've done is I've kind of laid it on to the side of the piece and just put it on, I fix it with tape rather than screwing it in. Now I can set that up against the fence, get it close to the blade. Now I can push it through and I'll get a nice straight edge along here, <clears throat> as straight as this edge is on this side. four of our um, pieces here to get that one straight edge. Okay, we now have a nice uh, straight edge on the uh, side here, so we can now cut this to 18 inches. These will just be straight through cuts for all four pieces. I've got them all oriented the right way. So it'll just be cut, 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 cut. Alright, with our uh, tops and shelves now cut to size, I'm going to cut the legs down. So to make these legs a little more manageable as I uh, want to rip them down to size, I'm just going to cut them to a rough, rough length. They're going to be 29 uh, uh, inches tall, well, the t uh, 26 and 3 quarter actually. Uh, but I'm just cutting them roughly in half to about 30, a little over 30 inches, so I have a little bit of room on either end to work with. But that will just make, uh, let me work with each leg individually and be a little bit more precise. So I'll just make four cuts. I get the legs, the four pieces into eight legs. Okay, now I have something that I can work with a little more easily on the saw with the fence and uh, get these cut to exactly the right width. So I'm going to start by making a cut like this. I'll put it back. If I go this way, the two pieces aren't necessarily aligned perfectly, so there's little opportunity for some rocking in this direction. So I want to get, put it through this way, get a flat surface here. Then I can set it down and get to the right width. So this is just going to be a little shave, is all that will be. And it will be with a bed rail. Alright, let's give that a shot. That is a tight fit. So I have to be careful getting the uh, piece into that spot. Okay, that gave me exactly what I was looking for. Just shaved that enough to lie flat, perfectly flat. So I'm going to set that up and do that another seven times. And have our leg blanks ready to go. Thank you. 
All right, there's our jointing operation complete. So now I can, I have a nice uh, flat surface. I can now trim these guys down to the appropriate width here. And I'm gonna take a little bit off each side um, so that the joint uh, between the two pieces is in the middle. Once I have it down to the right size, then I'm gonna flip it over and run it through that way. A little less uh, strain on the blade to do it that way as well. Now I could hear some of you screaming at me through the camera as I was putting the screw in these pieces for uh, the bed rail to get this uh, edge here that I'm, I'm marring up the surface of the wood. <clears throat> well, yeah. But I knew that I was taking a slice off there. So it penetrates the wood there plus the eighth of an inch of uh, saw blade and I'm left with just the tiniest of dimples there that with a little bit of filler, that just disappears. It might even disappear in sanding. So, wasn't quite as bad as you might have thought. It actually worked out pretty well. So next operation, I'm gonna set the fence to one and a quarter and run everything through, just flip it around, put it through this way, and then I'm gonna flip it up and put it through that way. And we'll have, uh, one and a quarter inch squares. So let me set the fence up for that and we'll be back uh, doing that operation. to dimension. Uh, next step we'll be cutting them to appropriate length and we're going to do a little bit of mortising on each of these legs to accommodate the side panels that will contain the drawers. But first we'll do the side panels. Okay we're back. Uh, I had to, actually took a day off, run some errands and collect some drawer slides and a little more wood. But we're back now in the shop and I'm working on the, uh, not the front panels here you can see, but the back panels. So I need four pieces that are going to be about uh, a little less than 18 inches. Yeah, a little less than 18 inches. They're going to be 17 and a half inches. And I have on the uh, work table uh, some pieces here that we're going to cut down. So these need to be three quarters of an inch thick. They're just slightly more than one inch thick. And I have added a little bit of stock to each of these pieces that uh, when milled, you, that uh, joint will just disappear. So again, I'm using my uh, rotor sled, bed rail rotor sled, and we're going to mill these down. Initial pass on here will probably be um, about, not quite a quarter of an inch, <clears throat> maybe three sixteenths, and we'll flip it over and get the other sixteenth of an inch off the other side to get it down to exactly three quarters of an inch thick. So we'll have four pieces exactly the same thickness and then we can cut them to size. And with some new lumber that I've got, I'll put them on the work table sawmill and, and mill those down as well to three quarters of an inch. So, on with the show.
I now have these pieces done uh, almost to three quarters of an inch. It's probably about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe even a little less. And I think what I'm going to do is rather than flip them over and use the router sled, I'm going to actually use the surface planer to even up the other sides. Just going to be taking a little bit off, so I think that'll be okay for that planer. Before I do that, and while the pieces are mounted here on the table, I'm just going to use the belt sander and give them a quick once over. Uh, or four pieces actually, one, two, three, four, uh, set up here for the router sled. And what I'm going to be taking off here is just a uh, uh, about an eighth of an inch off this piece. It's a little narrower than or thinner than this one. So a little bit more off this than off this. And then again, we'll be finishing them up on the surface plane. So starting with a very light pass. Take uh, we'll take a little bit off this one and just skim the uh, center of this piece. I'm going to go down one more sixteenth on this piece and then it's good for the surface planer. By the way, in case you're wondering, how do I know that I'm going down a sixteenth of an inch? I'm going to show you the marks that I have on my router here. Let's zoom in on that. So I have a ring around uh, the router with gradations on it. From there to there is an eighth of an inch, halfway is a sixteenth. And then I have 30 seconds, 64th. So I can go adjust this depth by a 64th of an inch at a time. I put a mark on the router just using a Sharpie to indicate where I want to go. So I loosen this off. I've gone down to 16th by moving from 1 8th to halfway between that and a quarter. So that, that would be 1 8th of an inch. Halfway is a 16th. So now I've gone down to 16th of an inch. And I just tighten this back up. Making sure I get it really tight. and I'm ready to go. They say there are two kinds of sawyers. Those who have hit their clamps and those who haven't hit their clamps yet. Now I can now join their ranks of those that have hit their clamps. Just nick this one with the router. Fortunately, it is made out of soft brass, so no damage done. All right, these are now uh, suitable for the uh, surface planer. I'm going to get two more pieces, or another uh, set of pieces up here that will represent the drawer fronts. So there'll be four of those. All right, I have found our four drawer fronts. Just some beautiful, clear, quarter sawn wood here. This is going to be lovely. So just finished planing this, or using my uh, bed rail router sled to get this to the thickness that I want. So I'm going to run this through with the belt sander and then put it through the surface planer. And we've got uh, four more pieces to do just like this. One, two, three, four. It'll represent the sides. And then we'll have all the wood cut uh, rough dimension and we can start focusing on getting it down to final dimension. So we're getting there. We're getting there.
Okay, on to the planer. All right, here goes a fairly long montage uh, of uh, milling all this stuff down to three quarter inches thick. So if you fast forward, there'll be music, I'll be skipping parts, but ultimately getting this to the material width that we need. pieces I got about a sixteenth of an inch that's tough slugging with this little machine and I'm probably gonna take the blades out give them a sharpen again but I'm gonna have to pick that up in the morning there's a that's a lot of cutting but what this represents is the last of the cutting to get to dimensional lumber or the, the size lumber that we need so I'll be happy when this is done then we can actually start working on the joinery so thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Tomorrow we get dimensional.